Okay, so one thing you want to do is download the emulator, Android emulator. I did M Emu Play because, well, Bluestacks just didn't work for me. What else did I do? Uh, I connected, quote unquote, Cosmo via the Wi Fi on this thing. And uh, what else did I do? Oh, yeah. And then I connect to the Cosmo here through my wire my Wi-Fi right there and uh, it takes a while it takes a bit of time because for, I don't know why just sometimes it doesn't a lot of times it doesn't want to connect so you just see can't connect to this network so what I do is I just keep trying just keep trying sometimes it goes quick like that other times it takes its time and sometimes when it takes its time it works uh, that time it didn't though so we just play a game of Catch Cosmo's Wi-Fi connection. One thing to note is my computer is connected to the, to the internet right there through the Ethernet cable. So that frees up my Wi-Fi dongle right there to uh, connect to Cosmo. And I can still have internet at the same time. I just gotta keep playing around. Sometimes I just turn off the Wi-Fi dongle. Sometimes I just turn off Cosmo. And then I just keep trying. It's a bit annoying to get them set up, but if that's what it takes. Cosmo, where are you? He's right here. But where are you? Right here. I don't see you. Connect. Connect. Connect! Please connect. Please connect. Please connect. I'm gonna wait a minute. <gasps> oh no, it's that one. Where'd you go? Oh, something's happening. Yay! Wi-Fi network is annoying. Isn't secure. Who cares? I got, I'm on it. Wait for it. Come on. Yay! Okay, I'm connected. And don't forget to connect Cosmo right here, too. So, yeah. And of course, you're going to want the app. And then you open it. Okay. Connect. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. And he's connected. Yay. So it's pretty cool he's connected. But uh, what's even cooler is that I could do the SDK from here so that means you know with this whole thing on my computer and it's connected via this thingy which means that uh, you can you know get a far way more range on the uh, you know I can I can control them from anywhere in my house not a big house but still way better than connecting it on my tablet not that much signal and so what I do is what I do? Okay, so I remember. So I went to this path, not exactly the same, but you'll probably have from here, follow this path to this thingy right here and open up with a text editor. And then, oh, this is a different thing. Let me open it. Edit. And then if you follow, I followed someone's advice on the internet. Don't know who, don't know where. I could probably find it. What I search up? Oh, it was on the internet, but he pretty much told me to put this right here where the NAT is, N-A-T, no idea what that stands for. Anyway, yeah, just I just copied what he wrote down and put it right here. 
and then saved it. Oh, he also said on the task manager, there'd be something called like, it was like a process. Where is it? This thingy, I think. No, this thingy. No, this? Which one was it? It was one of these thingies. You know what? Let me find the instructions. Okay, here they are. So I pretty much followed this guy's instructions. And so, you know, edit that. Uh, the process is called VBox. There's no M use SEV. So it was. I don't see it, but I saw it that when I was working on this, so maybe it's when you close it all or something. Anyway, I stopped that task and then I edited this file and added that right there and saved it. Not now, Cosmo? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Okay, let's see. Mm, now what I do? Alright, well you did all that. Well, if you've already done all that SDK thing, you know how it works. You pretty much go here. Click here, and now he stopped moving because he's on SDK mode, whatever that means. And then right here, I click ADB devices. No idea what that stuff means. Daemon started successfully, kind of looks like Demon, that's very scary. And then right there, emulator 5554. I'm pretty sure that's mine because I got nothing else connected. That's where I keep mine. And then remote control Cosmo. And voila, it works. And what's even more cool is I've connected Xbox controller to him so that I control him that way. And I do that with this program, Anti-Micro. See? And then I just, uh, whatever I do in the controller, up, down, left, right. See? It's because you set the keys that way. And so when I do this, see? Forward, faster, stop. Backward, faster, stop. Uh, press A button in space for me. So what does he say? Ah! See, yeah, that's pretty cool. We. I use the D-pad for his arms. Y button for infrared when he's at night. Up and down. Left. No, left. Right. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's his big brother. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, me not very smart, but me good at following instructions. So I just thought that was cool. That you could pretty much control Cosmo from your PC. Don't have to use a tablet or anything, or my phone, because you know phone calls and stuff. No one ever calls me, so it's not a problem. But hey, scenarios or scenarios, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, okay, bye. What? I already replaced your battery. It should be good. Oh, you almost fell. Oh, did you see that? You almost fell. Oh my God, I'm fat.